welcome to the lecture on planning graph uh, which is a topic in classical planning chapter in uh, machine learning so here we can see the planning graph which is used to give a better heuristic estimate and the heuristic is thing which will tell you whether we are traveling or we are uh, doing it right or wrong <clears throat> to find out the solution. And it can be applied to any of the such techniques. And we can search for a solution over the space formed by the planning graph used using an algorithm called as graph plan. So in the planning graph, we have a graph <clears throat> which will be shown in the next slides. And uh, this is a poly polynomialized approximation to the tree. It is in the form of a tree, which can be constructed quickly. And planning graph can't answer definitively. There, there is no definite answer. That is whether uh, G is reachable from S0. That is, whole state is reachable from initial state. But what does it do? It will estimate how many steps should it take to reach the goal state. <clears throat> That is still more how much action is to be done so that uh, we can reach the goal state. And the estimate is always correct when it reports the goal is not uh, reachable. When his goal is not reachable, that is right, exactly right. And it will never overestimate. It is not going to overestimate the number of steps. Therefore, it is a <clears throat> admissible heuristic. We can call it as an admissible heuristic if it uh, does not overestimate the number of steps. So, as it is not overestimating, it is an admissible heuristic. <clears throat> and uh, coming to this planning graph, it's a directed graph actually, and it is organized into levels. The first level is given as, uh, in the first level, we have state S0, that is the initial state, and uh, consisting of nodes representing each fluent that holds in the initial state. In the initial state, uh, whatever things should be true, then those things should be, they are represented as conjunction of literals or conjunction of fluids. And action, the level at the level A0, uh, consisting of nodes for each ground action that might be applicable in initial state. The initial state is represented as not and action that is done in initial state is A0. Alternative levels are also there, which are uh, given as SI, which is followed by AI. So in that state, that action will take place. And uh, if it is possible that either P or not P could hold, then both will be represented as SI and AI will contain all the actions that could have their preconditions satisfied at time I. <clears throat> so if any action should take place, certain preconditions should be met. Like uh, if I want to cook any food, that uh, the, uh, the thing should be present. The ingredient should be there with me, then only I can prepare the food. That is the precondition. So here, you can see a planning graph. In the planning graph, uh, you're having the, something like initial state, goal state, actions like eat and actions like bake. This is the PDDL for uh, the uh, have cake and eat cake problem. So initially, we ha I have a cake. If I have a cake, then I can eat the cake. If I have a cake, then I can eat the cake. Otherwise, I cannot eat the cake. So for uh, eat, in order to eat, what is the precondition? I should have a cake. So they wrote it as half of cake. After eating, will I have the cake? Will, will, will there be any cake in your plate? No. As you have eaten, the cake will not be there. So it is negation. Effect is negated of half of cake and eaten of cake. And what is the other one? If I don't have cake, I need to bake the cake. If I don't have the cake, I need to bake the cake. I hope you are noting down the thing because this will be useful for us in the next uh, slides. Just note it down. In its initial state, goal state, eat and bake actions. For bake action, the condition is cake is not there. So not have of cake. Effect is have of cake. That is after baking, a cake will be prepared and you can have that cake. <coughs> Hope you have noted these uh, particular things. Now, let's go through this diagram. Here, you can see many things. 
the state uh, is not the action level uh, a not after that again if i not is done another state will be resulting in that is have cake and uh, after in that particular state another action a1 can be applied and again it will result in s2 and this uh, here for have cake and eat cake uh, two levels are sufficient uh, for denoting this planning graph and as you can see this one is a directed graph here you have started at s0 and you have ended at s2 so you are traveling from s2 to s1 and then s1 to s2 in between in order to transit transit from one state to another state i need to apply some actions so have cake another an action is applied uh, if no action is applied the um, rectangle small rectangle there it is telling that no action is applied so it is as it is the state will be like that only it is have of cake in s1 also if action eat of cake is applied if action eat of cake is applied then what do you see you can see that there is no cake you don't have the cake so for have cake what are you trying to do you are trying to put a negate negation <clears throat> you are trying to put a negation and now uh, if i don't have the cake what should i do i should bake the cake i should bake the cake so the action is done at ever bake of cake is done at ever and if i have the cake and again i don't do anything then i'll have have cake in s2 first line have cake s0 have cake s1 action nothing so the result is have cake second one let's not have cake action is eat of cake and if i don't if i eat the cake i don't have the cake if i don't have the cake if no action is performed two things i can bake a cake or i don't do any action if action bake of cake is done then i'll have a cake if action bake of cake is not done i will not have the cake that's it that is the second line you can see there and uh, the other thing not eaten if you did not eat the cake then if you don't apply any action not eaten of cake is same as it is and if you have eat you don't have the cake and you have eaten of cake and here you can see some gray symbols this gray lines curved gray lines are there in this picture in this planning graph so the planning graph for have cake and eat cake uh, is up to level 2 s2 and regular rectangles are actions straight lines indicate three conditions and effects and mutex links are represented by curved gray lines here mutex links with mutually exclusive links are shown as curved gray lines and not all mutex links are shown only some of them are shown that is both of them do not exist at the same time have to can don't have cake have cake and don't have cake do they exist at the same time no they don't exist in general if two literals are at mutex si then the persistence actions for those literals will be mut mutual exclusive at ai and we need not draw that mutex link that mutex link will not be drawn so at each action at, at level ai is connected to its three conditions at si and it affects at si plus 1 so a literal appears because an action caused it ai is connected to preconditions at si and its effects at si plus 1 we also want to say that a literal can persist if no action negates it this is represented by the persistence action a no operation here a literal that can persist that means it is long if no action negates it that will stay as it is it will not be removed that you are saying it is as persistent and it is uh, no op if no op that is small rectangle without any word that you call it as no op if it is obtained then it will remain same have cake if you don't do anything for have cake then have cake will remain as it is if you did not eat cake then eat cake will remain re uh, just remain as it is for every literal c we add to the problem a persistence action which precondition c and effect c and in level in the previous figure we saw one real action of eat cake in the previous slide i showed to you you have eat cake here in a not and then a1 along with two persistence action drawn as small square box boxes here you can see the small square box boxes 
he with connected with e cake no action is performed there and level a not contains what does it contain all the actions that would occur in state s not but just as important as records conflicts between actions that would prevent them from occurring together in order to avoid conflicts you just don't uh, attach them with each other mutual exclusion or mutex links you call them as mutex links mutually exclusive that is <clears throat> have cake and not eat enough cake have cake not eat enough cake it is okay and eat cake and have cake both of them are mutually exclusive eat cake and have cake both both of them are mutually exclusive and here this level s1 it will contain all the literals that could result from picking any subset of the actions in a not as well as mutex links or gray lines indicating literals that could not appear together they cannot appear together regardless of the choice of actions they should not appear together have cake and don't have cake will not appear together it is wrong so regardless of the choice of actions you need you should not represent them mutex link should be taken care of and uh, for example have cake and eat and cake are mutex have if you eat the cake you don't have the cake so both of them are mutex now depending on the choice of actions in a not either but either uh, but not both could be the result so here whatever may be thing uh, if the action is done some state will result in if an action is not done it will remain the same if in other words s1 represents a belief state a set of possible states and the members of this set are all subsets of the literals uh, s1 is set of possible states and uh, there is no mutex link between any members of the subset no mutex link should exist between them and we can we should continue in this way alternating between state level si and action level ai till when are you going to continue until you reach a point where two consecutive levels are identical and at this point we say that graph has leveled off that means you have stopped it now we are going to see three conditions one is inconsistent effect the other one is interference the other one is competing needs coming to the inconsistent effect one action negates an effect of the other one action will try to uh, negate an effect of the other so for example eat cake is done and persistence of have cake have inconsistent effects if eat cake is done have cake will not be there and such thing if that the action is trying to negate the effect of the other have cake uh, effect is you are having a cake and if you eat the cake you will not you will not have the cake so this is an inconsistent effect the other one is interference interference is another condition which is held between two actions at a given level one is inconsistent effect the other one is interference and the other one is competing needs coming to the interference one of the effects of one action effect of one action is negation of a precondition of the other so if uh, precondition of the other uh, is negated then this is one of effects of one action so effect of one action is negating trying to negate the precondition of other that is when you are applying one action effect will take place and through that effect you are trying to can cancel you are trying to cancel the precondition of other so it is interfering hope you are understanding this is trying to interfere here for example if eat cake is there it interferes with persistence of have cake it interferes with persistence that is existence of have cake if eat cake is done if eat cake is done will have cake stay there no it is going to be cancelled so this is trying to negate this is trying to negate its precondition it is trying to negate its precondition in the same way let us go to the third condition the third condition is competing needs in the competing needs one of the preconditions of one action is mutual exclusive with a precondition of the other preconditions of one action is mutual exclusive with a precondition of the other for example bake of cake and eat of cake are mutex bake of cake if cake is uh, bake of cake eat of cake uh, 
they are having negated things. Both of things are competing with one another. Uh, if I bake in cake, he, uh, have cake. If I eat cake, have cake will not be there. So bake cake and eat cake are metics. And because they compete on the value of the have cake, precondition. One of the preconditions of one action is mutual exclusive with precondition of the other. So here, don't have cake and have cake. For bake of cake, don't have cake. And for eat of cake, it is uh, not, the result is not have of cake. So the preconditions are being are mutually exclusive or they're opposing or they're competing with each other. So with this, I uh, these are the three different conditions that are held here and with this I end this topic of gra uh, planning graph thank you